name is Mara. I'm a final year medical student. Can I please get your name and date of birth? Yeah, it's Karen Burris, April 4th, 1926. Nice to meet you, Karen. So today I was asked to examine your hands, and that will involve me first having a look at them, and then feeling around your hands, and also doing special movements together. Is that okay with you? Yeah, sure. Do right. you have any questions for me before we begin? No. All right. Are you in any pain at the moment? No. All right. Um, so we can start the examination now. Um, to begin the exam, I'll ask you to please rest your hands in front of you over here. Thank you. Um, so I'll start by generally inspecting the dorsum of your hands. On general inspection, I don't appreciate any swelling or any scars or muscle wasting. Um, additionally, I don't appreciate any deformity such as ulnar deviation, Z-shaped deformity of the thumb, or any boutonniere's deformity or swan neck deformity. Okay. Um, then I'll have a closer look at the nails. On closer um, inspection of the nails, I don't appreciate any cervical changes, such as um, oncholiasis or pitting. Additionally, I don't appreciate any vasculitic changes of the nail bed. On closer um, inspection of the skin, I don't appreciate any thinning or bruising of the skin, and that would be consistent with steroid use, and I don't appreciate any thickening of the skin overlying the fingers, and that will be consistent with scleroderma. Um, so do you mind just lifting up your hands for me? Great, and I don't appreciate any evidence of tendon rupture. All right, so do you mind just crossing your arms over there? Great. Um, now looking at the elbow, I don't appreciate any uh, rheumatoid nodules or any cervical plaques. Great, so do you mind just putting your hands over here? You can rest it on the uh, pillow under you, thank you. Uh, so just looking at the palms of your hand, I don't appreciate any wasting of the femur or the hypothenar eminence. Okay, so next I'll move to uh, feeling your hands if that's okay with you. So before I get into that, I just want to confirm with you that you have no pain in your hands. Oh, is that right? Sure. Okay. Um, so um, just feeling around the bulk of the femur and the hypothenar eminence, I don't appreciate any muscle wasting uh, there. I don't appreciate any nodules either. So do you mind just closing your eyes there for me? I'm just going to assess the sensation. So do you feel that for me? Yes. And do you feel that? Yes. And does that feel the same? Yep. Perfect. And do you feel that? Yep. And do you feel that? Yep. And does that feel the same? Yep. All right. I'll ask you to turn your hands over there now. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, and I'll feel for the temperature at the uh, wrist joint and at the MCP joint. And the temperature was equal and normal bilaterally. Right, next, I'm going to just assess your joints. So I'm going to be squeezing around your different joints, okay? Let me know if that causes any pain for you, okay? Uh, so I'll first uh, squeeze around the wrist joint. Is there any pain there? No. And is there any pain there? No? I'm just going to squeeze around your MCP. Is there any pain there? No. Okay, perfect. I'm um, just going to feel around the MCP joints now. Is there any pain? No. Any pain there? No? No. Okay, and over here as well. as well. Is there any pain? No. Any pain? Any pain there? No. 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 Right. Okay. And then over here as well. Okay. And move to this side. Is that causing you any pain? No. It's fine. Um, uh, so next, uh, just have a look at your elbows, okay? So for that, do you mind just crossing your arms again? Okay, I'm just going to have a feel of it there. Okay, so I don't appreciate any uh, rheumatoid nodules or any cervical plates as well. You can rest your hands down there for me. Okay, so next we'll be assessing your movements. So we're going to do some special movements together. So can you please just follow my movements? And you can, if you can do that, and that's called the parasite. Now if you can turn it all the way, yes, and make sure that your two wrists are touching each other. And ideally, to assess her phalen sign, I'll keep the patient in this position for one minute. Okay, thank you, Kieran. Now, can you make a fist for me? Now, make sure that all the fingers are inside the fist. Perfect. Now, can you open your hands for me? And can you follow my movement now, please? So, we'll try and touch each of your fingers with your thumb. So, just like that. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, now, can you turn your hands over and just open up your fingers like that? Perfect. Now, don't let me close your hand. Okay. Don't let me close that as well. Perfect. Okay. 
Now, can you do this for me, please? Okay, and don't let me open the circle. And don't let me open the circle. Perfect. Just holding my hand there, okay? Can you now push your thumb against my thumb? Perfect. Push your thumb against my thumb. Perfect. Okay. Now, can you open your hands there for me? I'm going to assess for a tunnel sign now. And that will involve me just tapping on the knee joint. So, here now, I'm, I'm going to be tapping over here now. Can you please let me know if you experience any tingling, okay? Is that any tingling there? No, thank you. Okay. I'm going to repeat it on the other side. Any tingling there? No. All right, thank you. Um, and then um, I'll ask you to hold this coin for me. Perfect. To the other hand, please. Perfect. And you can just place it over here. Thank you. And you, can you hold this pen for me now? Perfect. With the other hand, please. Perfect. Thank you. You can just place it there. Okay, Kieran. Thank you very much. This concludes my exam. Do you have any questions for me? No. no. All right. Thank you. Um, so I just examined Kieran. I did not appreciate any signs of rheumatological hand disease or any inflammatory hand disease in general. To complete my exam, I would assess the other joints, look for extra articular joint involvement, and also look for any comorbidities as well. Thank you.